let's talk about break and continue. We're going to be looking at break and continue the file here, .php, and we'll look again at for loops and if statements and things like that, as well as the infinite loops file. Now what break and continue do, they allow us to actually break out of a loop, or a statement, or an area, or continue by stepping over a particular statement during a condition or after a condition is actually met. So if we look at this break and continue file, you see that inside the code here we have a for loop and we have a statement here that says if i is greater than 1, then just continue. That is just going to drop to the outside of this for loop here. So that's going to come down here and basically just come back to the top. So it's just going to continue. So you don't even have to think in terms of a for loop that it has to actually carry execution all the way down to the end after the brace, meaning that none of this gets executed. You don't even have to think of it in terms of that. Think of it in terms of the minute it sees a continue statement, all of that's ignored in between the curly braces. Ignored, it just comes back right up to the top here and then it increments i and then it tests the condition. So that's what the continue does. Continue says, okay, ignore all the statements that we could execute. Just ignore them and go back to the for loop. Well, if you look at the output, you see that I output i is equal to zero, i is equal to one, and then we have these boxes in a row. So obviously when i is equal to zero, or i is equal to 1, something else gets executed. But when i is greater than 1, it no longer gets executed, as you can see here, 0 and 1. This is something different here, the lower part. And we don't even necessarily need this extra code here, but I'm just showing you here very simply that this is what's going to get executed, as well as all the table information here. But it only will do that if i is less than 2, meaning that i is not greater than 1. So we could change that to 4, for example, save it, and then we can right click, refresh, and then we see that it increments even more here to 4. So as long as i is less than 4, it's going to create a box here. And we can see that this is redundant. So we can actually comment that out. And when we refresh, you can see that it goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and that would be the end of that. The rest is starting a new loop there. That is continue. Continue will just continue with the top of the execution, continue as if the other code is just ignored. A break, on the other hand, break breaks out of the actual loop. It could break out of an if statement. It could break out of a loop. It's very, very powerful. We've already seen it in the switch statement, and it's very often used there, and that's where we'll talk about it. Break just breaks out of that particular area. So it doesn't continue to execute, but it breaks out. So it will actually break out of the switch statement, it will actually break out of the for loop here. It won't even continue the loop. Meaning that if we put this code here, we took this code here and placed it here, and we'll run that. You see that i is equal to zero, and it continues even when i is equal to five or i is equal to six. That's continuing because this code always gets executed. But if i is greater than 4, this won't get executed. It'll come back up, increment, and then continue printing this out again. That's continuing. Now with break, and you can look up where break actually is going to be used most often, but you can use it in many different places. You'll see it later in the training as well. And then you see that when it gets to be greater than 4, it finally executes this line one last time, sees this line, and doesn't have that additional table there. So this is outputting for 5. This doesn't get output, and the loop is broken, and the execution will continue after this curly brace. It could be inside here if there are additional PHP lines there, but in our case it is going to execute there, and then do the for each. 
and that's why it stops at 5 and doesn't show the next box. This box is a part of something else. So that's breaking and continue. And it's very powerful to use that, most often used with switch, but you can use it in many, many places. Like I said, we'll see it again.